Today I will uh, explain chapter 1, the fun they had from the book Beehive for class 9. It's written by Isaac Asimov. The main characters are Margie, a small girl of 11 years, Mrs. Jones, mother of Margie, a small boy Tommy, uh, age 13, and one computer inspector. It is a story of Two children who study and learn things at home like you are doing at present. The story is set in the future when learning through books as we do now will not exist. Now the question arises how will children study then? It's very easy to understand as, or as you all are doing the same thing now. You are studying at home, listening to my lessons, lectures, on phone. You are copying down notes uh, from your screen <coughs> that I am sending you online. In the same way, our future learning will be conducted. There will be virtual classroom, robotic teachers, moving e-text, etc. This story tells us how in future students will miss school life uh, that our ancestor uh, and we enjoyed in our times like uh, interacting with everyone, sharing thoughts, doing mischief, talking with friends etc. Are you missing your school too? Okay. Here in the lesson, Margie wrote a diary and the date is 17th May 2157. Right now we are in 2020. Study the date carefully. She is talking of future. Here, is, here she is surprised to see a printed book which in future students may not see at all. Looking at that book, Margie remembers that once her grandfather told that when she was a, when he was a child, his grandfather studied the story books which were printed on paper. So students, here Margie is describing the book that Tommy had found and it was funny to read words from the old book that had uh, turned yellow in color and even the papers are crumpled. Why it was funny? Because the paper words don't move. But here, Margie can turn lines on ebook. It uh, keeps on moving <coughs> as you may be doing it right now and must be enjoying learning that way. Tommy too doesn't like that printed book. He wanted to throw it away his sad. TV screens can have a million books and easy to open and don't even take space in the room. On the other hand, we have to uh, go through the printed books once and uh, then after reading we have to throw them. So Margie asked Tommy, where did you find this printed book? He replied, in the house. And the book is about school. Margie shows her dislike. So on, on hearing the topic, she says that uh, what is the need uh, to write on such topic like school because she always hated school. Now do you want to know why she hated school? Because a mechanical teacher means whatever he studies on, his, uh, on, on, on her computer had been giving her task after task and test also and she is unable to do it. Then her mother called a county inspector and he repaired the computer. Margie thought that it would have been so good if he had taken the computer away instead of making it alright. Because uh, once Tommy teacher means computer uh, was away nearly a month as his history section turned blank completely. Now Tommy imagines how nice time it would be when the teacher used to teach uh, uh, the students standing in front 
On this, Maggie, uh, Margie asked her, uh, I don't want a strange man in my school, my house to teach me. And uh, uh, Tommy explains her, no, teacher doesn't come to anybody's house. Children go to school, which is a building, and study in different classrooms. On this, uh, uh, she puts a second question, do they all sit study together? Tommy replies, yes, students of same age group study. While they were just talking, Margie's mother uh, comes and asks her to study on uh, computer for the next uh, lessons and all that. She was uh, thinking about the old days, how all the students had fun in school, but here she had to sit and learn in the uh, room alone. So student, uh, this is all about the lesson that how two students are uh, uh, talking about their time, uh, future and uh, do let me know, read the lesson carefully and let, let me know your views. Uh, do you, uh, what do you prefer? Okay, thank you.